I I just got it off the bus and I looked at the schedule. I know Madison's not there. I know for I know Garfield's not there. 100% sure St. Clair's not there. St. Clair's not there. It'd be nice to go and then high drums. The cross guy. Alright, right, so if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Does everybody understand? Yeah, I know, this is grand secret spying device. It'd be kind of neat, but it's not. Kind of, yeah. We got 16. Right now? I'll give you a part time hunt. Uh, do you know what time you're doing? Hey, hey, I'm going. Don't worry, man. Come at you. Subdivide. Part time hunt and hunt to do. Ready, go.
know the feeling that it takes to keep in time with him. The kid strokes sound like his. You got it full percent. That, that's one that's one thing that we're starting to accomplish. We're, we're starting to focus in. We're starting to become one. Yeah, like they all, can't focus so they don't warm up. Did you hear them climbing some stuff last night, man? Did they didn't warm up for a show. Didn't they? No, they said they couldn't, they find, they couldn't find it. They couldn't focus on anything, so they didn't warm up. Yeah. As a line. In other words, they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't concentrate on one thing. Yeah. Somebody took the tap 25. Screw it. They blew a tap 25? Salt me. That's what it bleeds. They, blew, they couldn't get like a tack together. They said, fuck it. Who did? Hardman? Whole line. Line. They just kind of that is for Kekin. That's how he wanted to show. Everybody yeah, everybody went off to their own little place and just play a little bit. Put the uniform on. Hey, you're allowed to do that when you get 19. And they still get 19. Well, right. The thing is, they play so much together. They know they know the person next to them. They know what they're going to do when, when they're in the station. They know how they're going to recover. And they just know the person so well because they can play together. Like you guys were to play together for another two or three years, man, it'd be the same exact way. You know, and we're doing pretty good considering you know, I'll, 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 I'll the You know, if you guys were to play together for a long, 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 long time, you know, get a little And also, you know, you're going to start to know the person next to you. It's like, like this uh, thing we do with the 60 notes. You gotta focus in on the person next to you. You gotta know exactly what he's gonna do. So you can keep your sticks in time with this. I guess Phil, you guys lose some tight. I'll lose some Okay. Let's play the show. Let's play fours and sevens. Nice and slow. Stroking in every beat. Okay. Yay! Okay. By every note. All right. So oh. still? Hey, man. Yo, did you guys have fun last night, man? Yeah, that was great. That was excellent. I was up in the top and the girl looked nice. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what, man, you guys took that stuff right in the first. It was good. That was fun, wasn't it? Isn't well, it great was, when you play clean? That was, that was the fun? best, I love best it. feeling of all summer, man, when those guys were watching us. I saw, I saw your hands, man. You were like, <laughs> I was like, oh, come on, more of them. Come on over here, man. I just said, boy, <laughs> We played that. That was great. That tuna captain was just like, just smiled. I just sat there and went, yeah. Man, look at these guys. That's just like it ain't nothing but cares. Just like this. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, fucking drunk. Those guys cool. tried. Nine inches. Mark time. Cut and.
Here we go. Working hard at perfecting one one job, um, meeting a lot of people and making lifelong friends, um, teaching. That's my job is to teach uh, other kids how to do things. You have to learn to get along with um, with adults and with other people your age and live with them for three months at a time. Being through through whatever's going on, you have to be able to get over uh, arguments and go on the next day. To Are there many? Else. Oh yeah, there can be. There can be a lot. Um, just living like right now, we're, we have three buses instead of four, and we haven't we're having to cram all those people on three buses, and so you have to learn to deal with things like that. So, um, Mainly, it's working at something to to perfection and finding out that you really can do that. How long have you been in it? Um, six years. Where did you start out? With? Southland, Montgomery, Alabama. Is that right? How did you come up to the Crossman? How did I was from uh, the area where the Crossman is located, and um, so a friend of mine from school down in Auburn was going to be going up to Crossman, so I went with them the next year. Why do you do this? What, what's in it for you? It's what kind do you of, get out of it? It's a hobby, kind of. I get paid a little bit being on staff, but mainly it's a hobby. And I like the, I don't know, I like the activity, I like the people that are involved in it, a certain kind of person that gets involved. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to any, uh, to any kid who wants to really get into it? Um, Actually, who doesn't sure, really know about it? Okay, make sure, uh, well, check it out, go to shows for a summer, and um, watch practices and stuff like that, and then make sure you're going to be able to do it for the whole year, and go try out for one, but um, go in, go into it with the feeling that, that um, you want to achieve something, um, but you have to go in ready to do it the whole year and not drop out. What did you achieve? This year? No, in your lifetime of drum corps. What did you get out of it, personally? Um, let's see. A lot of friendships and a lot of learning. I pushed myself uh, past the limit that I thought I had and found out I could go farther than I was going with music. So when I was marching, um, I never had to push push myself uh, too far 
to play something, and then my first year in Crossman, it pushed me farther than I'd ever been pushed before, and so I found out that I could do more than what I was already doing. And that's what they try and push you past your limit, and make you better than you think you are. Are you? Am I better? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Uh, so uh, something I've been doing since I was 14, no, actually 13, 21 now, it's my last year. So I've been doing it uh, since I was a little kid. And uh, it's taught me how to deal with stuff. Uh, I take a lot of stuff that I learned during the summer and I take it into you know, real life and in school and stuff like that. And it helps me deal with stuff a lot. <coughs> easier uh, to somebody that wouldn't have you know, gone through something like this because you know, when you can live with 128 uh, plus people on uh, these things and uh, you know sleeping in a gym for three months uh, it makes you go back home and uh, be able to deal with things that people consider problems a lot easier would you recommend this for any kid um, no, uh-uh, because it, it takes a uh, special kind of person to do it. Yeah, it's, it's somebody, it's got to be somebody that, uh, yeah, walk right to the camera. I'm giving this really nice speech and you're walking through it. No, I, I think, it, it, I don't really think it is very good. It takes, it takes a certain kind of person to do it. You have to be able to put up with the frustration uh, that, that happens during the year, uh, because sometimes you're not... Things aren't always going the way you, you, you'd, you'd hope them to be. And you just have to learn how to deal with stuff like that. And uh, and keep moving on and not let it keep you down. And some people can't do that. And a lot of people come into this activity and, and they can't do it, but they leave the activity being able to handle stuff like that a lot better. So, you know, the kind of person who, to march the drum for has to be somebody that's uh, kind of a self motivated type of person. To really get themselves, you know, know when everybody else around just kind of bummed out. So it polishes, it polishes you off. It does, yeah. It, it, it does, because, you know, I don't know, going to, going to school and everything like that, it's, it's giving me the, you know, when I'm sitting there studying, trying to get something done, it's like, uh, I don't want to do this thing, this thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's what's got to get, you want to, what's got to get done. So you do it. Heads up. But it's, you know, I've been to, like I said, since I was 13. And it's, it's something that's really helped me out a lot. It's a great activity. Yeah. If anybody out there wants to do it, go ahead and do it. <laughs> what are you going to do after the season is over? And after the season, I'm going to go back.